Hi, I'm Philip McGinley and I'm playing Luther Gascoigne in the Norse Bar. Luther is a miner um, who works down a bit. We meet him in the play at the end of a shift, coming home for his, his dinner. Um, he's a very basic man, I think. He comes home for his dinner, he's covered in pit dirt, just to get washed. Um, he's newly married, so he's settling down with his new wife of six weeks, who's source of the love of his life, but has kept him kept him at arm's length for a number of years, and then has decided to marry him. He was kind of proposed to, after having proposed to her a few times, she's kind of decided now's the time when he takes her on, and they're sort of settling in. It's not ideal. It's not. It's not really working. It's treading on each other's toes, and not really. It doesn't really fit very well. I, mean, I, don't think, I don't think he would be really. He sort of comes home and sits down and expects his dinner, you know, and it, but it gets it's waited on hand and foot by his wife. She washes his clothes, she hangs up his trousers in front of the fire, you know, she presses, washes everything, serves his dinner, makes his packed lunch, lays it out for him the following day. The one thing I think he does do that you never see, but I think miners in those days would cook their own breakfast. So maybe, maybe he'd make her a cup of tea and take it in because. You know, he has, he's up at five to be at work or whatever. Maybe he'd let her have a lie in. <laughs> that was how it was then, you know. The women waited on, the men went out to work and the women kept house. And uh, so he might make her a cup of tea, breakfast in bed, maybe a bacon sandwich. <laughs> and then one of the things you learn about Minnie is that she's slightly, she's slightly more hoity-toity is what my mother, Luther's mother would call her. And she's furnished the house in this sort of style that is not common, it's of a fashion. It's second-hand stuff which in those days was not was frowned upon slightly because it wouldn't wear very well. So maybe if he had time to get her a present, he'd get her a little plate or something. Some room in the house that was from the market, you know, and a little bit different. You'd probably know that enough. Not much about her to, to do that. So yeah, a cup of tea and a plate. <laughs> High romance. <laughs>